Today, we'd like to show uh, new technology to us that helps us with radiation safety. It's real-time dose monitoring system. An analogy would be to a speedometer in a car that shows you instantaneous radiation exposure. The value of this is then we can make accommodations in shielding, camera angulations to enhance radiation protection. Previously, the only thing that we've had at our uh, disposal for radiation safety, besides knowledge of general principles of radiation protection, is the dose area product reading from the x-ray system, the fluoroscopy time, and the cumulative dose exposure. We just had a uh, two-minute fluoroscopy exposure in the 30-degree LAO projection. My exposure without the use of a uh, rolling shield was one millirem. Faye, during the exposure, stood behind me, and her exposure was zero millirem. We just completed a two-minute fluoro exposure in the 30-degree LAO projection, this time with the shielding in place, the rolling shield and the ceiling shield. Interestingly, in the LAO projection with the shielding in this configuration, the total radiation exposure was essentially the same. It was 1.1 millirem. Without the shielding, it was 1.0 millirem, virtually identical. This time we're going to have a two-minute fluoroscopy exposure in the 30-degree LAO projection and use the real-time dose monitor system to see if we can optimize shielding to reduce the radiation exposure. Okay, I'm going to pull the shield back. We're, right now we're yellow. I'm going to rotate the shield towards the LEO generator. And you notice now we're down in the undetectable range. Simply by rotating the shield, pulling the shield back and rotating it towards the LEO generator down here, we're now in the green range. If I push it away and rotate away, now we're in the yellow range. I think this is a great example of the real-time dose monitoring system. When I stepped on the fluoroscopy pedal with the shield rotated this way, the detection levels were in the yellow range, indicating a higher radiation exposure. When I pulled the shield back and rotated it towards the LAO generator, the radiation was essentially undetectable. This shows that using the real-time dose monitoring system allows optimization of shielding during the case.